think that's great because you learn so much from that and if people are willing to take the risk of you to do that, I think that it's a really good thing and my race was a disastrous, which I think I'm quite thankful for. I wasn't too scared and and then that was that and you know, it was a pretty hard transition there sometimes, especially coming out of school. But once I kind of got things together once I was out of school and I think that it was just do what I could do and I think I had uh, a good amount of um, time but also yeah that kind of put you in the deep end and see what happens in 2011. Well, that's a, that's a sort of a, you must have been earmarked by that stage by the Federation and you were probably uh, moving along their pathway. Um, it's an interesting sort of learning curve through that period of your development. It's racing at the WTS level is, is now the pinnacle of the sport really and you were thrown in that deep end as you said into the London Test event. Um, talk about coaches, you know, um, the coaches that you've been involved with because I, I remember seeing obviously Craig Walton, you've had Dennis looking after your swim and so forth, but you're now with Cliff, Cliff English and you sort of worked remotely with him for a bit before you actually even got to meet him. Yeah, I, I first of all, um, yeah, never had kind of seen him or met him and been working together for a while until we um, first came in contact with each other and I think it's really good though and I'm really happy with um, my choice of, of coach since Craig and uh, he's, I've learned so much from Cliff already and I think that the relationship you know, it's still growing, we're still finding things which work and it's really come together in the last couple of years and, you know, I've had some of my best results um, under his guidance and just really happy with my home environment here on the Gold Coast with, you know, just multiple people I get to work with and kind of cliff tying it all together and um, it does seem strange to some people that I do get coached remotely but I think that if you want to make it work, it can definitely work and I feel as I've got, you know, a great support team behind me. Was it before the prom games that you started with Cliff or just after? Um, it was just before. Uh, so we started 2014. Uh, Craig had a new job opportunity which he took and I kind of, uh, Josh was getting coached by Cliff at that stage so um, yeah, he took me on as well and we didn't have too much time before I actually competed at Commonwealth Games, but he tried to keep things relatively similar, which I've been doing, just because he didn't want to do, you know, anything drastic in the short time he had with me before um, the Commonwealth Games. But 